Hello everyone, this is Dr. Garima Sachdeva, one of the mentors of study in RCOG. And today's wisdom short is focused on biostatistics. So we will be discussing some of the exam tested questions and the concepts related to them. So the first one which I would like to discuss is about the null hypothesis. So there are two types of hypothesis, null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis. Null hypothesis is the hypothesis of no difference. Suppose you are doing a study of showing an efficacy of one drug, then your null hypothesis will be there is no, no difference in if you are comparing it with any other drug. So you can say that there is no difference in both the two drugs. An alternative hypothesis will be which you have to prove will be the hypothesis of actual difference that is there is an actual difference between the two drugs whether it is positive if you are you are focused on that one drug is better so then your hypothesis will be that that drug A is better than drug B which has already uh, which had some proven studies. Now uh, Based on this, we have two types of uh, errors in biostatistics. So, one is the alpha error or the type 1 error and the other one is type 2 or the beta error. So, type 1 error is, is basically when the null hypothesis is rejected, then actually it is true. That is, the study shows that there is a difference. Rejecting the null hypothesis means there is a difference. And when actually there is no difference. So that is type 1 or alpha error, also known as false positive. So if you the study is showing that there is a difference, then actually in um, reality there is no difference. Then the another type of error is type 2 or beta error also known as false negative. So that is accepting the null hypothesis when it is actually false which in other words when the study shows accepting means there is no difference. Study shows that there is no difference when in reality there is a difference. So these are the two types of errors alpha and beta. Alpha is rejecting the null hypothesis when it is actually true and beta is accepting the null hypothesis when it is false. Now uh, there are various studies and uh, in biostatistics so and also uh, these studies they are classified as meta-analysis systematic review, RCTs, then there are cohort, cross-sectional surveys. So all these studies are there. So what are the keywords to identify which uh, option? I, because if I start discussing each of them in detail, it will be a very long lecture. So I just tell you in this wisdom short, the keywords to identify which would fit uh, one of these. So, uh, if you get a question that the strongest evidence of any outcome is, the answer will be meta-analysis. So, there is a, a evidence based on, in evidence based medicine, there is a pyramid. So, meta-analysis at the, is at the top and it uh, signifies the strongest evidence of any outcome. Now, uh, if you get a question that what should be used to determine the most effective treatment or intervention or drug, the answer will be RCT. Uh, the study used to determine the incidence or the study used for rare outcomes. So then the answer will be cohort or longitudinal study. Okay, uh, cohort is a, basically a prospective study. Then uh, there is for rare diseases it is case control which is a type of retrospective study because rare diseases are very rare to find. So you identify the disease and go back in the past to look at the risk factors. So that is case control. You divide in people who develop the disease and who do not develop the disease. You compare the risk factors. So that is a case control. So for rare diseases, we have case control. To determine prevalence of the disease, we use cross-sectional study. Then uh, to determine the magnitude of health problem, uh, it, the study which we use is a survey or a questionnaire. So that was all about the wisdom short on biostatistics. Hope uh, I have tried to make some things clear. In case of any doubt, you can contact me. Thank you so much.